Welcome back to another episode, episode number 23 of the Unattractive Attractive Podcast. We're still here. This, we are still this, here. This was a quick one, quick turnaround. It was, yesterday. You got, <laughs> you guys get the double whammy straight off the bat. Yep. And I've got an interesting fact for all the females out there and, and males. Yeah. You can tell the size of a man's... Johnson. Johnson. In this one, in this one easy step. Yeah. Okay. You know... Actually, Martin, no, I'll test it on you. See if you've got okay. a big one or not. Okay. Hey, you know, you know when you go chuck a piss. Yep. Uh, do you ever very light stream? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But do you ever struggle to get the last bit of pee out? Like, do you do? Do you nah, some come straight out? <laughs> do you some? <laughs> do you ever put your put your Johnson back in your like you chuck a piss, put your Johnson back in your undies, and then all of a sudden you got a few little droplets in there? Nah, never get that. <sighs> Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> apparently that's how you tell someone's got a big dick or not. Oh, oh so, makes sense then. Makes a lot of sense. Um, old Penny. Yep. But so girls and guys, if you're into that. Okay, Geordie. Um, if you want to know the size of someone's Johnson. <laughs> Since when am I into dick? <laughs> I'm really trying to push it. <laughs> if you want to know the size of someone's Johnson without directly asking them girls, all you got to say is, Hey, do you ever struggle to get the last bit of pee out of your Johnson? Hey, do you ever piss your pants after the toilet? <laughs> oh, I don't think they piss them. But anyway, do you want to know why? Why? It's because the longer the urethra, yeah, the harder it is to get it all out. If you've got a tiny little urethra, it just goes boop, boop, boop. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish I struggled with that. <laughs> yeah, um, my, I mean, my undies are dry. <laughs> no, I tend to just shit myself. I don't really ever piss myself. I just shit myself. That's nice. There's a medical condition for that. <laughs> what is it? Ulcerative colitis. No, I don't actually shit myself. I wish I did. Uh, I went Have to- you heard oh, that shit. there's there's actually legitimately guys that are into that? Like yeah, scat? Like yeah, like girls shitting on them. And it's happened actually a lot more than what you would think. There's actually quite a few girls that I've spoken to in my time. That they have shit on a guy before. Really? That's disgusting. If someone tries to shit on me, <laughs> they're copping the biggest overhand right straight to the fucking the tip old of the jaw, man. The old fucking Cleveland steamer. <laughs> <laughs> the Cleveland steamer straight on the chest. <laughs> but I don't care. Like I, I get like if a guy's into that kind of nah. thing. No, wait, right, listen, hear me, hear me, hear me. Out, no, hear me out, there's hear no, me. there's not even any <clears throat> excuses that you can make up for it. You're a sick fuck if you like a girl to shit on your chest. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. I get degrading. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I agree with you, but um, what I'm trying to say is, even if you're into that degrading, like, weird fetish shit. Yeah. I feel like it all goes out the window when you can smell it. Yeah. Have you, like, <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever done, like, back shots one time and... Like all of a sudden, the whole deed starts to smell a little bit. Yeah, a little funky. bit, a little bit funky. And you're like <laughs> holding it in the back of your throat. You're like, oh. yeah, <laughs> got to get it done. Yeah. Have I said? Have I told the story about the time I did that? No. It was dark, and all, and I was like pumping away, and I was getting ready to go, and all I could smell was some spicy, <laughs> some spicy stank. And then it was just taken off. So I held my breath. <laughs> and I was like, I've got to get through. Cause yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm on the, I'm nearly Hold there. your breath, tense the legs and just I, get I, through. I held the breath so I couldn't smell. And like, I was doing a little. <laughs> 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 but, but it was making it worse because I knew there was something up and it was just taking longer and longer. So I was getting dirty on myself. And then I'm in my own head now. So now it's taking forever. Yeah, yeah. And I can feel it's getting That's sloppy. That's the worst when you get in your own head. Oh, it was rough. That there's was rough there's girls in that, that that like, they take it to heart that you take forever. Right. Yeah, I know that. When they, you're in your own head, they but they don't understand that when we're in our own head, we can't like. It's just like impossible. The more you tell yourself that you're struggling to, do you know? Just, do you know what's a game over? And you'll agree with this, and girls listening, this is something for you guys. If if a man gets in his head, he's not going to get hard, right? Or he's nervous. Just say it's the first time, and he's yeah. nervous, and he's like, okay, I need to perform. Yeah. He and he starts realizing he can't go full full fucking brick. Yeah. And then he's and once he's in his own head, it's not going brick. Like and the I, poor guy's sitting there so nervous and he's definitely flaccid the entire time. Yeah. And it's not you girls, it's him. Do you remember the girl that I was telling you about that um, wanted me to give Bruta away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Bruta away. Yeah. Okay, so she was like the best looking girl I've ever gotten <laughs> with in my life. And I got in my head that like this was my moment to shine. 
right? This was my moment of shine. Never going to have booty like this ever again <laughs> in my life, right? I worked myself up that much that I couldn't even get it up, yeah, right? <laughs> and we tried another like three occasions yep. to do it. And every single time I would start off going great. I'm like, I'm fucking clapping it. And the next thing you know, room down. Yeah, then no, I'm you- like... You know what it is? Fuck sakes. Yeah, like a little thought will just pop in your head yep. midway through. And that's all it takes. Yep. And it doesn't matter. Like she can be the hottest girl you've ever met. Yep. She can do everything that you want to do, everything that turns you on. Yep. As soon as that little thing, whoop, you're doing a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boop, boop. The worst thing is when you you get in your own head about not doing it too early. Yeah. But you get in your head that bad, then you can't then altogether. you can't do it at all. <laughs> It's a fucking word. And, and, and there's a point in time, like, I don't care what any girl says. There's a point in time where you've had enough. Yeah. Like, you're hurting now. Yeah, 100%. It's, the, the, it's gone past. There's a point where it's like, it's like pain but pleasure. Yeah. That the pleasure now is gone because you've already it's had. It's just burning. You're it's just, just getting friction. It's burn. just burning now and yeah. you're gaping. <laughs> it's yeah. hurting. And you're looking at the guy like, there's a look that you girls do that yeah. we know. And you're like, hurry up. Yeah. And then once we see that, it's worse. Well, I can't say that I've ever got that look of I've got like, it. hurry up. I've got it. Hurry up. Get off me, dog. I've never had the hurry up look because like it never normally lasts more than 15 seconds anyway. So <laughs> if I'm running a marathon, I've got a good 12 and a half seconds. Yeah, in that's decent. You can get a sweat session in 12 and a half seconds. No, it's a fucking good cardio session. Yeah. Um, I went on a bit of a, a, bit of a, uh, a, bit of a journey lately. With hydrogen water. I don't even want to hear this about hydrogen water. Guys, so you just drink normal water, right? You, whether you're refrigerated or not, that's a different story. But this guy, okay, I can't remember what it was I thought was coming in the mail um, for you. I th- was it your motorbike rooms? the rims? Yeah, it might have been, uh, the might have, might have been your motorbike rooms. And the way yeah. you walked out and w- come walking back in... <laughs> It was like you just got the new motorbike rooms after you blew them out. And I was like, fuck yes, we're going to go to the track. Fuck yes, I'm so happy that they've come. And then he pulls out this tiny little parcel and it's like no bigger than my head, right? And I'm like, that's not fucking motorbike rooms. What the fuck is this shit, right? Then he's just constantly going at me about how he's superior because he's got this drink bottle that hydrogenates the fucking water and it just makes him feel so much better. Yeah. You drank out of it for like two days, three yeah. days. Well, I'll tell you the full story. Yeah. So it was the only thing, and I'm pretty sure you guys will know you've seen the ads. It was the only fucking thing that was popping up on my Instagram reels. Yeah. And it got me. Not for the point where I was like believing what they're saying, but I was like, fuck this. Maybe if I buy it, it'll stop showing up on my Instagram thing. Anyway, so I bought it. I drank it. And I was pumping it out. I was really, and I was really trying to rub it in Geordie's face. You need to get one of these. I'm better than you. Yeah. And it's got all these benefits that they've researched or whatever. Anyway, I looked it up. I got the wrong one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so there's one, there's a fraud one out there. Yeah. Just as expensive, same price. But it like puts chlorine in your water. <laughs> like, there's like particles of chlorine, which is very bad for you to ingest. <laughs> and I was just smacking. And because I was on my high, I was trying to fucking, trying to show you up. Yeah. I was smacking like five litres this yeah. shit a day. Yeah. I had enough chlorine in me to fucking start a pool. <laughs> Anyway, so I stopped drinking. At least you clean the toilet pole every time you went to the piss. <laughs> yeah, legit. <laughs> anyway, so I stopped. No need for White King. We got our White King. <laughs> oh, what's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> there's something cool happening next year. Something that I've always wanted. Bro, there's fucking 10,000 things that's always happening. Listen to this. You're going to love this. Yeah. And I've always said this. You know the Olympics and shit? You, so, you sort of want to see. I'm already bored. No, you're not. Because this is going to, and I guarantee you'll watch it. Okay. You know, you always want to see, I wonder how far these guys could go if they're all on gear. Oh, I've seen this. The, it's called the Enhanced Games. Oh, I've seen this. This is sick. And it's fucking happening. Oh, so, I'm so, so happy. So the Olympics, they want nothing to do with it. They yeah. wanted to fucking cancel it. They're yeah. like, no, this is ridiculous. Yep. They lost the case. It's on. <laughs> it's on it's next year. It's actually happening. It's on. Yep. So all these athletes can just fucking pump up and they're actually getting paid for it too. they're getting paid for it where the olympics don't pay the athletes yeah this is, and this is a thing to see how far humanity can push itself so next year it's called the enhanced Games. tell me that the olympics the standard olympics aren't just a swinging dick contest yeah okay people are training for four years right they do a four-year training session for for the next olympics okay because yep. it comes around every four years 
They've got the Commonwealth Games in the middle of that. I think it's every every four years as well, isn't it? Commonwealth yeah. Games, yeah. but it's like in between. It's like the two years. Yeah. But so you train for four years just to get a gold fucking coin. Yeah. yeah like it's like a gold coin. It's not even real gold. Yep. Like it's not made out of solid gold and silver and bronze. So why the fuck are all these competitors, athletes, world-class athletes, challenge it, running their body through absolute hell to not even make bank? Like it just doesn't make any fucking sense. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a dick swing contest. Yeah. And even when you see them, but you know what's crazy? It's like a, because it's such a big event, these athletes, like this is their moment. Yeah. Even some of the fighters in the in MMA, they've got like the Olympics thing tied on their leg. Go do the wrestling. Because they... Well, the Olympic wrestler or whatever. Yep. And you see him get knocked out and you're like, oh, how'd it go, mate? What the fuck? <laughs> how was your Olympic wrestling going for you, dog? I feel like he's snoozing over there. It, it's like, I don't know. To me, it just makes zero sense. Why well, put your body through what they do? Athletes put their body through like hell, like nothing else there is yeah. on this planet. Ath- ath- being an athlete is probably the hardest job to have. Um, and I feel like... Competitors and athletes need to start getting paid for their efforts. Like, sure, they get sponsorships and whatnot, but you need a base level wage. Yeah, that's the thing. For it, they're getting they're getting monster pay. Well, a lot of them get monster pay from big sponsors, yeah. but they should be getting some kind of some kind of fucking wage. Well, the only way that Olympics makes money is if, is if they have athletes. Yeah. So why don't the Olympics pay athletes? I'll tell you right now. If pay I, the top 10, top 15 of each thing. If I was in the prime of my career and I was a sprinter or something, yeah. better believe I'm ja- gassing up going to your fucking... Enhanced. 100%. But you know what's I'm gonna... blasting fucking <clears throat> 10 vials of Trent a day. <laughs> it's on the Trent. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight blasting Trent. I wonder how much they're going to be better. Well, this is going to be the funny thing, okay? Do you think they're going to be way better? Well, this is the thing that I'm wondering, all right? They're going to blast this gear... Okay, is this just a fad? Do you know what I mean? Like, is this just going to be a flag? Because then, because then, <laughs> then they could never go back. Because then they're blasting, right? And you got USADA and all of that. <laughs> USADA's just wiping their, <laughs> rubbing their hands together, like we are gonna make bang. Well, here's what I want to know: Will any of the legitimate athletes in the Olympics? Do you reckon they're going to go for it? Do you reckon they're thinking, "Fuck it, this is the new way"? I don't think that they will. The reason why is because Olympics have their Olympics and all the sports that you can't gear up, um, they all have their pockets very deep inside of sponsorships and stuff yeah. like that. And all the sponsorships then sponsor those those games and all of that sort of shit. So therefore, probably not because the sponsorships will be like, hey, we're going we're gonna to yeah. drop you. Yeah. And the Olympics have made it very... I clear. think you're going to have all the D-grade... That's what I think is going to happen. And that's why I think it won't be as good as what people think. Yeah. Because rather than the A grade, top of the top fucking athletes, then jump on gear to enhance themselves, it'll just be like a couple of cunts like me and you being like, oi, <laughs> let's give this a fucking crash. <laughs> fucking go. Doing all the wrong gear too. Doing trend to be a sprinter. <laughs> Can't breathe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mad trend cough. <laughs> <laughs> At the start, they're all just parking up their lungs. These cunts, they, cut, they, they line up looking freakish. <laughs> they start like. <sighs> Imagine you saying bold on trend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah fuck oh well at the same time there is plenty of athletes that do blast gear that oh, yeah. manage to get through yeah, the system ways. and stuff there's mm. definitely ways there's new siders constantly coming out with new yeah chemical combines that they're not allowed to use Let's and, do epos yeah some fucking blood what's it called blood fucking thinning yeah doping blood doping yeah uh i've got a problem for you this is a big one for you mm. They've just come out and said it. The FBI. Huh, yep. <laughs> the FBI. That's yeah. a big, big problem for me. Okay. Big problem. Listen All right, to this. Let's go. The FBI have started this new project. They're full cracking down on gamers. On gamers? Yep. So now they listen heavily into like on game chats. <laughs> right? No, no, this is a problem for you. And anything that seems extremist, you're on the list. Because, Do you a, understand how many people are going to be classed as fucking KKK he, members in uh, Call of Duty chat? Yeah, here's the thing. The so, amount of people that are going to be on the terrorist list. So I'm not a gamer and I know gamers that take it very fucking seriously and they get pressed if something happens. Like even if you get killed too many times, they're like, they go in. Yeah. I'm not a gamer and I say some wild shit when I 
well, when I played like two years ago with you, yeah. we were saying some fucked up shits because it's us. Yeah. Now the FBI's listening to that <laughs> shit. And I can imagine like I was pretty mild in comparison to some people. A hundred percent. And I know the, the, the OG days, saying. the OG days of say, I was like anywhere from like 14, 16, stuff like that. When I was sort of like at my peak of gaming, um, fuck man, the Call of Duty lobby chat, that was wild. That's some wild shit. I was wild and now you got imagine imagine so imagine everything you've ever said yeah now the fbi is looking in like oh shit yeah i'll just run michaelis <laughs> i'll just run straight michaelis Bro, you won't hear me talking i'll just call you on my phone and just talk to you over my phone i'll just ditch you i'll have my headset on yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah but it'll come through so it'll register as you yeah true i'm, <laughs> I'm going to jail dog um what do you think about the term narcissist and how overused it is by fans? Oh, bro. It, I fucking hate women these days. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Listen, I'm going to put it out there. And I'm only saying this. I'm saying this in a nice manner. I'm not saying this in the way of like I hate all women. But what I'm saying is I fucking hate women when they fucking run well, on this on, narcissist on, on, bandwagon you can't sit there and say i'm gonna say this in the nicest way but also i fucking hate women <laughs> you can't say that it's not that i hate women it's i hate certain women yeah. right i can't stand i can't stand the ones that think that trauma narcissism they're a sociopath like when they run all those like i think they're called like catcher words yeah. or something like that Right, it's basically whatever word that they can use to catch an audience. And I think it's ridiculous. Like, true narcissist, you know when somebody's a true yeah. narcissist. A true narcissist. Just because she, he left you and went to your best friend doesn't mean he's a narcissist. Yeah. Even for the guys, just because a girl doesn't want to be with you doesn't make her a narcissist. Yeah. Like, uh, man, I feel like the term is just so fucking fruitly thrown around these days. It is. Like, and it's just like, it's like a fucking wipe my hands clean of that cunt because he's a narcissist. Anything. Like, oh, he went to the shop and didn't message me to get the chicken. Narcissist. Yeah, legit. <laughs> like, fuck me. Just because he doesn't want to spend a day with you doesn't make him a narcissist. Doesn't, doesn't make her a narcissist. But just because they want to live a separate life doesn't make with you. A- doesn't make them a fucking narcissist. You're you're a clingy fuck. Yeah. Go go. So what happens is I feel like I feel like a lot of these girls read spicy books and stuff like that, and the term narcissist is thrown <sighs> around there a little bit, and then they think they understand what the definition of narcissist is, and they just throw it around for anything. The second like the man has an opinion on anything in in the relationship, oh yeah, he's a narcissist. No, no, he just has his own fucking opinion. Yeah, <laughs> it's, all it, narcissist. It, it's like just because somebody's <clears throat> stuck in their ways too. Doesn't yeah. make them a narcissist. Doesn't make them a narcissist. They like routine. Yeah. There, there's you can throw it, you can throw a counter term for everything that you're calling him a narcissist for. Yeah, and um, I don't know, man. I just think that everybody's pressed these days, and there's no reason to be pressed these days. Why? Why are you pressed? Why? I, I want. You're not oppressed. You're not fucking living your worst life. You're literally living in the best time that life and society has ever been in before. Yeah. We have never. In the age of time, we have never been in a better living quality than now. Man. Okay? You you get paid. Your boyfriend goes to work every single day of his life to fucking provide for you. For, so then you can go get your eyelashes done. And what? Because he because you miss one fucking nail appointment. Narcissist. He's a narcissist? Like, fuck, grow up. Grow the fuck up. I, I just, yeah, I feel like I hate how fucking, how quickly they throw the narcissist term out there because they do it all the time man. i feel like it's just because they're the sociopath sociopath's another one i feel like what it is i feel like they're just so fucking privileged yeah that anything that doesn't go their way now they go whoop he's a narcissist and everyone hate him because he's a narcissist there's a title for it there's a title, there's a that's title. What and what it is is you're a spoiled fucking brat you're a spoiled that was brat. never beaten as a kid there's a we can yeah tell. yeah 100 you've we never you've never been flogged yeah 100 100 fucking percent all the kids that got flogged we know. We know that you're just a spoiled fuck. You're just a spoiled little fuck. If you've lived a life where you've had to work hard for something, okay, and you've had to work your absolute ass off to get to where you are today, and then you get with somebody who's been privileged. Yeah. You know who the who the one that's always going to cause fights. Yeah, 100. 
Because if you've lived a hard life, if you've worked hard, if you've grinded your ass off, the last thing you want to do is come home and fight. But if you've been given everything, you don't care if there's peace or chaos inside yeah, you don't of your household. Fuck. You don't care. The, the last thing I ever want to do is argue with anyone. Yeah. I don't like argue. I hate it. I fucking hate to argue. Yeah. I feel I'd almost go as far to say as if if you're just a privileged girl that throws out the term narcissist for not getting what you want, you're a, you're a fucking narcissist. You are a narcissist. <laughs> like that, you that's are. that's closer to the term than yeah. you not getting your fucking shoes that you wanted to get. Yeah. Because bro couldn't afford them. Yeah. Anyway, enough of ranting about women. I could sit here and rant all day. I could too, but I've got one more rant about women. <laughs> 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 Just one quick one. We'll yeah. just brush over. Okay. It because this is a big one. Okay. If you're a female and you're driving along and you feel like you want to road rage, this is to men too, actually. You feel like you want to road rage. Just I just want to let you know you're not safe in your car. You're not. You're not. You oh, are we, are we running this? <clears throat> you can tell a story if you want, but okay. I just want to make the point. Okay. I just want to let everybody know. Yeah. Don't live in a little delusional world yep. that you think you can just yell and do what you want on the road. And nothing happened to you. Not only, not only women. This is, this oh, is hundred. I think this is more towards men. Okay, but but if you are willing to sit there and scream at somebody yeah. from another car to another person, and then they call you out on your bullshit, right? If they call you out on you and they check your gangster, don't drive off. Don't run. Don't run. Pull over. Pull over. Because if you're a gangster enough to hurl abuse at the person, pull up. Yeah, pull up. And for all the girls out there and your man does this, pull them up. <laughs> pull this, them up. This, Rip on the handbrake. This is a big one Rip for me. Rip on the handbrake. The big one for me is when a man is with his missus in the car. Yeah. Whether it's his long-term missus, someone he's just met, whatever. He's trying to impress them clearly. Yep. He goes off. Yep. He road rages at someone. Yep. Then quickly, quickly after, realizes the guy that he went off is about it. Yeah. So the guy that he's yelled at now says, okay. Pull over. I'm going to give you now the opportunity to prove that you're this guy that you just pretend you were in the safety of your own car. Yeah. If, if your man does this and he runs and he doesn't pull over like he said, he, oh, pull, I'll fuck, kill you. And he runs. Pull on the handbrake. You pull on the handbrake. He's saying, no, no, get the fuck out. and <laughs> You do what you said you are going to do. Go. Yep. Don't let him get home to the safety of his own car. House. And then start talking shit. Talking shit, yeah. Home. Yeah, I didn't want to do it because I see red. I black out, babe. Oh, I <laughs> fucking hate <laughs> Okay. Actually, I wanted to talk about this on the podcast. I'm glad that you brought this wait, wait, up. Wait, one sec, one sec. But this goes for the same for girls. I spoke to a girl about this. Yeah. That if you go off at someone, your boyfriend's in the car. Yeah. And you go off at a, a man and that man wants to do something about it. You know who's getting bashed? Your boyfriend. Yeah. So you're putting him in a situation now. So really think about that. Really think about is, is you yelling at someone and for the males. Okay, are, fair are enough. You if your partner's a fighter, let him... If he wants to rage at someone, let him let rage. Him, let him. But you shut your fucking man. You don't. You don't put him in a fight. He doesn't. You don't. If he's not, not a fighter, it's not your as decision. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the main one is when you know damn well your boyfriend's never been in a fight before. He doesn't like he a fight. He openly says, "I'm not a fighter. <laughs> I don't know how to fight." Don't put him in situations. Don't put him in a situation where he may get fucking. Clapped. And I'll go back to bouncing. I've seen this happen so many times. So many men get fucked up because of their missus drunk, can't handle their liquor. They say some shit, the boyfriend has to defend their honor, and they get fucking clapped. Yep. He didn't want to get clapped. He was out to have a drink. He was out to have a good time. <laughs> he was out to have a good time. He was ready to go clap some cheeks with his girlfriend when he gets home. And now he's, now getting, he's getting his head clapped against the he's, fucking pavement. He's heading to the fucking PA for a checkup. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so just briefly, the other day, I was driving along, pulled up a T intersection. The nose probably jumped, like parked out. Didn't didn't disrupt the flow of traffic at all, yeah. but it probably jumped out of the tier section to, and to enough for people could be like, oh, he's pretty close. Yeah. This guy decided to put his hands in the air. He's had his missus in the car. I chased him. Yeah. <laughs> I chased him and I was standing out the window of the car and you know, because I came home fucking dirty. He and came I, home fucking dirty. So I chased this guy down. I said, oh, well, okay, I'm going to give you the opportunity now to do to fucking keep the energy, keep the gangster. You're gangster just sitting in your car. Yeah. And now I'm chasing it down and you're scared. I can and you're see fucking you. running. I can see you're scared because you're swerving in and out trying to, you're doing illegal turns and shit. Yeah. Pull over, dog. So I came home and I wouldn't have been angry if he just pulled over and got clapped yeah. or clapped me. Who knows? Yeah. But the fact of the matter is he tried to be something he was not. Yeah. And then he ran the fucking pussy. And Shane comes in through the door, door slams behind <laughs> him. And he's like, 
fucking pussy cunts fucking never want to be a fucking gangster until I fucking pull up. <laughs> they are fucking, every time, they always, always want to act like a fucking gangster until they get fucking checked, don't they, they fucking weak ass pussies? And, and pro- I was like, oh, <laughs> cunt. Oh, shit. Okay, and, and here's the thing. I don't, I don't really get angry like that often, but it's always when that happens. Yeah. And you'll speak to all of my mates. It was be- like the other time when you chased down the person down Gold Coast Highway. A- 100%. And, and all my mates will tell you, I do it. Every time, and I'll continue to do it. Yeah. Every time. You want to be a gangster in your car, pr- trust me, you're going to do it to the wrong person, and eventually yep. they'll get you. <laughs> like yep. Eventually they will. Yep. A hundred percent. So what, what are we going to say about something? <laughs> you're going to talk about something. Uh, it was about... What the fuck are we talking about? Fuck. I'm a little bit confused. Um, <laughs> got a wild about that fucking Yeah, we got, we got vicious. I had somebody. Yeah. I had somebody the other day. It was... Um, I... I was following a guy well okay so i pulled up you know the lights down near where we would go like where the big car yard and that is yeah yeah, yeah. um the yellow building yeah so i pulled up at those lights right and i pulled into the far far left hand lane that's emerging right wait no 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 i was in the middle lane he was in the um far left and he has to merge in right yeah but i was in like i took off quicker i was ahead right but he just had to be that hero yeah, and yeah, plant yeah. the fucking foot. Yeah. Well, by the time that I was there, right, I wasn't letting him in. Come, you fuck, go behind me. Yeah. I was in front of you. Why do you have to try and be a hero? So anyway, he goes to merge across, and he almost fully swide swat. Like he's in line with the with the passenger side window. Yeah. Okay. And he just starts pulling across. So I pull into the right hand lane real quick. So then I turn to him, and I'm fucking on the horn, and I go off at him, right. That can't, I, I mean, he cut off like four cars and I was chasing him like right up until the, right up until the, the turn off. Cause I go under through the, the tunnel. Yeah. I'd never go that other way. Cause it just takes too long to yeah. get home. So I'm fucking trying to get him to pull over. And this cunt was booting. Like I'm talking <laughs> like 130 Ks from that merge in yeah. to the quick turn off before you get into the tunnel. Like 130 k's sw- swerving through traffic, and I was like, "Run, can't run, come on, man!" Uh, well, I've had people. It's like, such a pussy. It's move. such a pussy. I've like, had people yell, like, "Go off!" And I pull up beside them, I look at them, and they go, "They see me, and they're like, sorry. And yeah. I respect that. I'm yeah. like, okay, "Well, you really, you, yeah. you've acknowledged. Don't keep hurling abuse <laughs> as you're driving. Away, you've though. acknowledged you're not about. Cool. Yeah. No worries, mate. I, don't, get, I understand people get angry. Just get don't keep hurling abuse as you're trying to drive away, <laughs> cunt. Like I'm telling you to pull up. <laughs> I'm telling you to pull up. Oh, yeah. If you clap me, you cool. <laughs> cool. I get clapped. Yeah, listen, listen. If you're if you're going off saying oh, I would fucking kill you if you pull over, he was doing these ones at me. Okay, well, with yeah. a gun signal, I'm like, you oh, can't throw oh, up cool. the finger pistol like, cool. and hit the foot falcon. Okay, you've time. now thrown up the finger. You, you've you've expressed what you're going to do to me. Yeah, I'm now giving you the opportunity to fucking do it to me. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Pull over. Please just pull, pull, pull over, cunt. It's this easy. Hit the indicator, <laughs> then step your ass oh, out yeah. of that I, car. I'll even follow you to a nice, nice pull over. You want to go nice later park? Let's go. <laughs> Wherever you want to go, well, we, we can go down the side street so we avoid the traffic and it's all nice. Whatever yep. you want, mate. <laughs> Don't fucking speed off like you're it's, causing. It, it, it makes you more mad. When it, makes you so much, it makes you so much. It makes you so mad. Because you know what makes me mad about yeah. it? Because I'm like, not only did I get yelled at, I got yelled at by a fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, an absolute bull. This guy. Oh, so yeah, now he, he could fucking step up to So me. now he's going to go home with his missus and they're going to get home and he's going to be like, oh, babe, I would have fucked that guy up. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah. You but ran. that's the chat that he can now run. He can run that chat now. That's why I chased him so long. I'm like, please. That's run why you were so r- mad. Running a petrol it's, or something. It's not even the fact that he wanted to fight you. It's the full fact that he's going to go home and yeah. say that he could have clapped He could have clapped me. Some little skin rat. Yep. Has it over you now. That's right. I'm uh, in the market for a new car. Yeah. I'm Se- you're looking at 79. 79 right? series Land Cruisers. So, guys, if you are listening, um, you will see it probably before I get a new car anyway. Yeah. Um, I hope not. But you guys let me know what you think of the... If there is any guys that know much about cars, um, let me know what you think of the 79 series. Don't just be like that fucking... 
wanker. Oh, I'll take a 79 series over a Lamborghini Aventador. Oh, no, you wouldn't. You hate that. You gotta hate that, <laughs> don't you? Wouldn't. You're like, shut the fuck up. What You're not of- taking a 79 series Land Cruiser that's 120 grand at most over a $1.2 million like, car. That's just, like, I know what you're trying to say. You are the most fucking stupid businessman <laughs> I've ever heard of. That's just poor business. Yeah. <laughs> you're financially a fucking idiot. <laughs> I could buy a 79 series and sell it and get it fucking 100. I'm going to buy 10 79 <laughs> yeah. series. I'll, I'll go fucking, one in each color. I'll let me sell my Lambo and buy one 79 and another luxury car. And fuck you. Have fun with your one <laughs> yeah. 79 series. Like, fuck up, man. You're not buying a 79 series. It don't justify. Like, okay, it's a lot of money and I need to try and justify spending this money, but I'm not going to dick suck Toyota. No. Over it. I just want it because I want a four drive that I can put a ca- canopy on the back Put a rooftop tent and I can take Bruto Camp. Yeah. I can go wherever I want. So I feel like a 79 series, I feel like is gangster if you're about going full driving and camping and all yeah. that sort of shit. If you're just going to stay on the road. I don't see don't the need, point why people you buy. You don't need it. Why people buy. Okay. The, this is this is what fucks me about Toyota community, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you see all these rich cunts in the city, right? And I'm going to refer back to Brighton, but it's basically Brighton of... Melbourne is like Ascot Hills of Brizzy. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Very, very rich area. Yeah. All of the houses are like six, seven, eight million dollars. Okay? But you know, by the sheer look of that guy, he has never taken that car off road. Okay? <laughs> but this cunt is on 37 inch tires with a seven and a half inch fucking lift. Yeah, it's what? got a mass canopy. It's like a $200,000 canopy on the back with this rooftop tent and that. And you're like, that car does not have a single stone chip on it. No. Like you have never seen off-road before. What, Why? What's the point? Why? What's the fucking if point? If you want to just waste money like that, my PayPal is in my bio <laughs> on my TikTok. Just throw it there. Oh, well, a subtle plug. Yeah, just like <laughs> throw it there, dude. Just, I don't... Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a look. Do you think it's just like a dick swing? It's contest? a dick swing. Combo, it's but... like people that get Silverados and that. Yeah. I don't but, see the point in it. Yeah. They're all, what are they? Fucking 6.2 litres on. 6.2 litre V8. Like fucking engine. Do you really need that? No. It's an a overkill. Chevy Silverado. Guys, if you don't know what they are, they're those like American pickup trucks. Yeah, look them up. SR, uh, any, ZR2 Chevy Silverado. Yeah, 6.2 litre V8. I'm telling you right now. Overkill. Any guy, overkill. Any guy that gets one of them, you know that he Small. is fucking overcompensating. Tiny. Like Straight pin. overcompensating. Yeah, well, what would you need it for? Why do Americans lift their trucks like tw- 25 <laughs> feet high? Listen, I've got a mate in America and he's got... Yeah, I think he... We've both got a mate in America. Yeah. And he's, and I I think it is a Chevy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Chevy Silverado and, and it's, it's about 25 foot it's, high. It's fucking You need huge. a full-blown, one of those blue trades fucking ladders just to get... Yeah, well, he's, he's tall. He's like 6'4 or something. He would even need a step to help in that yeah. thing. Yeah. It looks ridiculous. I had a mate that had a GU Patrol. Yep. And he had 40-inch tyres on his G, GU Patrol. And the bonnet was <laughs> higher than his head. Man, I'd, unless you're doing extreme four-wheel fucking driving, <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> you don't... I, <sighs> it's just like a fuck you, but it's like <laughs> nobody cares. No one cares. You, actually, when you get your groceries out, how are you going? You having yeah. a good time pulling your fucking bread out of there, dog? <laughs> God, imagine grabbing a cube of Pepo from that high above your head. Bro, back to the 79. Yeah. If you're going to jack it up, do all that fucking shit to it, yeah. you're going to spend like fuck 250k on the cunt all up, yeah. including it, and you never go forward driving. What's the point? Buy a fucking... Buy a nice car. Buy a nice car. Buy a nice sports car. You can flex with a sports car. Yeah. Especially if you're in somewhere like Ascot. You, you're legitimately going to... You're going to pick up better by... Yeah. Buying a sports car. I don't know what you're trying what to do. you are, 79 series. Because girls don't look at a 79 series link Bro, and be no. like, that's fucking money. They'll be like, yuck. You mean to say you don't even have a touchscreen in your so car? They, you they, I'll tell you what, a, a girl looks at a 79 series and goes, so you go pigging? Yeah. <laughs> but we went and looked the other day at new cars for me. Yeah. Um, we went to a car lot and um, we were looking at like, so I had a Hilux beforehand and it was all top of line all of everything on the inside nice. was nice yep. and then we went and jumped in the 79 series now the only reason why i would go the 79 series over the hilux is for four driving off-roading yeah. touring around australia and stuff but- and, oh, i just want to be controversial for a second because yeah. i know this is gonna fucking destroy all the toyota owners. and i love toyota i've yeah. had toys my yeah. lot 79 series inside 
They're fucking horrendous. Well, that's what I was. That's what they I haven't was changed get at. since 1920. Is that the Hiluxes are so like they're half the price, and they've got all of the new gadgets yeah. inside of it, right? All the new Land Cruisers, like the 300, the 300 series, and that, two, yeah. That's got the full 360 cameras, everything like that. 79 series is built for the off road, but. You could at least have just, something that's Bluetooth capability radio. Yeah. You don't. I, I get we don't that. live with auxiliary cables in our car anymore. I get what you're trying to do. And tape decks. I get what you're trying to do. Keep it like, oh, this is 79. This is our brand. This is what we're running. But you can at least put... Most of them don't even have electric fucking windows. <laughs> like you've still got manual windows. I get it. If you're going through river crossings and that, you want manual windows. Okay? But... Car. What about a mirror in the fucking in the shade thing? Yeah, you don't even have it, a fucking mirror. It in wasn't the shade even thing. a mirror in the sh- in the passenger side. Of sh- um, shade You've still got off. the knobs for the air con, like yeah, grrr, 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 grrr. like come on, come man. on, like, come dog. on, Toyota, come on, fuck yeah, fuck it. I did hear that. I did hear they bring out automatic seventy nine series though. So they are, and not only that, this year is the last model of the V eight diesel. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. They're going to the V V six petrols. So, I think. Well, see you later. <laughs> Should have bought a fucking Chevy. They're not, yeah. Yeah, nah, I'm not overcompensating. Oh, I kind of am. You if are. I'm buying a 79 series, I'm yeah, not Yeah, yeah, 100 you are. I'm not overcompensating. 100% I am. You know that every single 79 series Land Cruiser owner has a tiny little dick. I'm just going to watch that 79 sit out the front and never go in anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to KFC every couple of days. <laughs> Um, no, but I do want to set it up. It's obviously going to take some time because of quite a bit of money to do it. But um, yeah, eventually, eventually I'll have it all set up to be able to go around Australia. That's my plan. Yeah. At the end of next, at the end of this year. I'd say. Oh, I think you should just get a bike, a dirt bike. Yep. Get the 79. Don't worry about doing that for a while. We'll just go fucking ride. Yeah. I'm down. I'll teach you how to do a jump. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys, I'm actually the worst bike, like, track rider. Wait, 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 wait. Just hold on. Hold okay, on, so- hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know what you're going <laughs> Okay, listen. I know where you're going. Listen, I, we fucking, we were talking one night on, on a live stream. Yep. And he was adamant. We started, we brought up bikes, and this guy, and when I, so Jordy trolls a lot. Like, he yep. talks shit, and you could, and looks, unless you mean, I know he's every move. He he looks like, like, you could look at him and be like, oh, fuck, he's, he's serious, but a lot of times he's taking the piss. But this one, he was serious, right? He, we got in this fucking, we got in this chat one night. We got in, it was like a heated. It discussion. was a heated discussion because he was he was adamant, and he what was pissing me off is he genuinely believed it, that he could yeah. beat me on a track on a fucking dirt bike. Yeah, but I so said to the him, the thing is, is and background story, guys, I've never ridden track ever. Okay, never ridden track. And in I've his never argument, done in his fucking jumps, argument, man. he was telling me this. <laughs> he was still saying, "I've never ridden track." I was thinking, Pah. You don't. and I've only ever ridden out on the farm, um, oh, oh, cattle drove and stuff the, like the that, fucking, chasing down bulls. And the stuff argument, like that. the argument is burning in my brain forever. Yeah. This was his argument because I said, "Bro, I race professionally. Yeah. <laughs> I got travelled the world, like Australia. Yeah. Travelled the entire of Australia doing this shit every yeah. weekend. I was sponsored everything." He goes, "Yeah, but um, I used to chase cattle around." He goes, "No, do you understand how fast you have to turn?" On a paddock to catch the cattle, and I'm, uh, the bulls, and I'm thinking, can't. <laughs> Do you know how fast you have to hit corners to win a race? Dog? I just want to confirm. <laughs> Trying to hit a triple, you have to go much harder, <laughs> much faster. So I said to him, I remember I said to him, I said, "Listen, you could beat me at anything in life. Yep. There's two things that I'm very confident I could beat anyone in, pretty much. Yeah, not at this stage now because I'm fucking, I don't ride much. But I said to him, riding a bike." And fighting. Anything else you could probably beat me in, and I wouldn't be as confident. But those two yeah. things I'm extremely confident yeah. in. And he goes, nah, well, let's prove it. And we put something on it, didn't we? Um, yeah, I can't remember what it was. But here's how confident he was. And this is what was pissing me off. He was so confident, and I was sure he couldn't. He went and bought a bike for this exact, for this one moment. Yeah. He went and bought a CRF 450. And his first go, he flipped it. <laughs> and I was thinking. So I tried to do a burnout. I tried to do a burnout. And instead of doing a burnout on the grass, the whole front end just lifted on me and it just went, whoosh. Yeah. So we went to, so anyway, eventually we met up, went to this track and I immediately knew this wasn't even a fucking competition now. <laughs> Couldn't even. To be, but I had the best time as well. Bro, like, yes, I, we I, had the funnest time It was the time funnest the fucking track. time, yeah. It was so much fun. It always is so much fun. And I knew that it was over before I even rode, Okay. Because Shane's deal was that he had to hit this massive fucking triple. And I mean, 
This thing is massive. Yeah, and yeah. I had to be on the second lap. Yeah. So he got a quick spot over it to see where how hard he had to hit it and where he had to land. And then he had to circle around and immediately hit the triple. And without even fucking hesitating, he immediately hit this like 100 foot triple. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, it's game over. <laughs> it's game over. And no one thought I was going to do it too. And I told everyone, I'm confident in these two things. Yeah. I'll do it. And everyone's like, no, you won't. <laughs> like, yeah. I did it. It was easy. But yeah, fuck, it was a good time though. And that's why you need to get another bike. Yes, which we are looking at as well. Um, yeah, hopefully. I don't know we can... whether to get a Yamaha. I, I think I want to go Yamaha for Team Deegan. Oh, fuck. I'm full against you. Or maybe. Here's the thing I'm against you getting a Yami, but I know they're good. Yeah. So, like, the new ones are good. Yeah. So, well, know. that's what I'm looking at is the 2023 or something like that around 2023, 2024. Just spend the money and get a new bike. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to um, I want to wrap this up with one more crazy fact that I learned? Mm. You know the um, Baltimore Bridge? Baltimore. Baltimore Bridge, Baltimore. Yeah, whatever. I guess fuck. Yeah. Oh, I mean, everyone gives a fuck. But anyway, um, it was a terrorist attack. When? <laughs> so... No one, no one, no one thinks of this shit, right? Yeah, it's a terrorist. It, it, they've collapsed this bridge, which is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah. of tons of fucking yeah. metal. And the- is this at the same time that Diddy got arrested? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> inside the bay, that so no ships can leave until they clear out all this shit because they can't. Yeah. It's too dangerous. Yeah, of course. Are the world's most equipped and powerful um, ships, like military ships? Oh. <laughs> Tell me that's not fucking terror. They knew at the exact same time. That all the shit's going off in fucking the Red Sea and stuff. And right. they, and America needs their fleet. The fastest, most powerful, most equipped fucking military ships on earth were in that bay that they cannot leave now the the Baltimore. They would want to be getting on to getting all that shit out on the A so. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm starting to think something's going down. So I'm calling it now. Something's going down. Well, what did we call? October the thirty Oh yeah. October eleventh. Is when the Yep. Apocalypse. Apocalypse is happening. I think it's a world war. I think it's a world war too. All right, guys. Have a safe day wherever you are. And we'll see you on the next one.